Uh, yeah, no, there are always things we can do. Uh, I think just, you know, having a, you know, the idea that we have to be a very, you know, disciplined team, you know, that, um, you know, we've had a, a little bit of success. Um, sometimes that leads you to believe that you have it all figured out. And the reality is that we're still developing and learning and becoming the best of who we can be. So, you know, we have to be very, very disciplined uh, as a group. And, you know, they got away from us the last couple of nights. Um, and then with your bench, some of these guys who are very capable of shooting the ball, ball's not going in. Um, again, when you take a look at the film, is there anything that you've kind of seen there where you can help those guys get back on track when you look at the bench? Yeah, I mean, first we have to be able to, you know, I think get stops and rebound the ball better than we have. Um, you know, Oakland and City and Houston are really good offensive rebounding teams. They killed us on the boards even though we won those games. Uh, you know, Miami impacted us on the offensive glass. So if we can rebound the ball better, in particular with our second group, they can get out and transition a lot more. Uh, but also back to the first point, when you're not as disciplined as a group and your, your execution isn't sharp, in, in particular, bench players and role players struggle offensively uh, because that's really what having a system of offense uh, does is to make the game easier for guys that aren't used to being able to create the play by themselves. And now that you've had Aaron back for a handful of games and Jose is playing well, what are you liking about the starting guards and what they've been able to do with that first unit? Yeah, I mean, I think they've you know found a way to kind of add some stability to our first group. You know, Jose has really gotten better every game uh, over the last few weeks. And, you know, Aaron, who's still working his way back in the condition, uh, still has a presence when he's out on the court. He physically impacts the game on both sides of the ball. Um, and our first our first group's been pretty, pretty solid, even if they, you know, stumble out of the gates maybe the first few minutes, they've been able to put together really solid quarters. Uh, so that, that group is going pretty good. But, um, you know, it's my job to continue to figure out and search for you know, how to substitute guys, how to get our rotations in a way where we can sustain that uh, and, and not have the drop-offs in the second and fourth quarter. Coach, when you look at your roster, you have 13, 14 guys who can really help you on any given night. Yeah. You know, from your perspective, as you figure out who you want to play where, is that more of a challenge or an advantage to have that many guys who can contribute? Um, I think it's a little bit of both, but more of an advantage than in a challenge, um, you know, it's different than a year ago. So I like feeling this way more than I did the way I felt last year. Um, and no, I think that, you know, I, I think it's an advantage because it, it creates an environment where every guy, I think will continue to make sure he's ready when his number's called because so far guys have seen that you know, each night it could be a different guy whose number gets called. Even if our rotation tightens up at different points, we play nine or ten guys in a particular game, uh, all 13, 14 guys are live and capable. And hopefully that will help us over the course of an 82-game season, uh, you know, to be able to sustain a certain kind of effort, you know, every night when we're out there. Talk about this being disciplined. There's kind of a wide variety of meetings of what that can be. Are you talking specifically on the court stuff as far as execution kind of things? Or are you talking practice habit things? Or no, just, you know, in the game, um, which is not, you know, it's much easier said than done uh, when you're playing against good teams. And, uh, you know, Miami's a really good defensive team. They have size up front. They're physical, uh, even at the wing positions. Orlando was the same way, really good defensive team. Uh, and so early in the season, when you play against teams that can just physically grind on you, your your offensive execution is going to be off. The timing is going to be a little bit disjointed, and that's what we ran into the last couple nights. Uh, and so without much practice time, the game's flying at you. You still have to figure out a way to, to kind of, you know, to find some ways to be disciplined and, and, and focused as a group uh, on the details of execution. So... Uh, you know, not habits or practice habits or those things, but uh, in the game, when you're stressed, when you haven't made a few shots, uh, get back to just running your offense and keeping it simple as opposed to, you know, trying to do more individually.